A grand jury is expected to meet this week in the case of a Marine veteran accused in the deadly chokehold of Jordan Neely. CBS 2's Jessica Moore has new reaction from Neely's family and also looks into the likelihood that charges will be filed. The fact that you feel threatened doesn't necessarily give you a free badge to become a police officer and take it under your own control. Constitutional attorney Andrew Lieb says he believes Marine veteran Daniel Penny committed manslaughter when he put Jordan Neely in a chokehold until he died. He's a Marine. He knows how to hold someone down without a choke. There's plenty of ways that you can hold someone without putting them in fear of their death. Last Monday, police say 30-year-old Neely, a homeless Michael Jackson impersonator, was threatening passengers on an F train, throwing trash and screaming that he was hungry. Penny tried to subdue him and was seen on video putting him in a chokehold. The medical examiner ruled Neely's death a homicide. Penny was questioned and released. His attorney later putting out a statement painting Penny's actions as self-defense, saying, quote, Daniel never intended to harm Mr. Neely and could not have foreseen his untimely death. Neely's family blasted Penny's statement as character assassination and released their own statement, saying, quote, The truth is, he knew nothing about Jordan's history when he intentionally wrapped his arms around Jordan's neck and squeezed and kept squeezing. In short, his actions on the train and now his words show why he needs to be in prison. What happened here is someone held somebody in a chokehold and choked him to death. There has to be accountability for that. Neely's death has sparked outrage from elected officials and community members alike. Tensions boiled over on Saturday when hundreds of protesters demanding charges be filed against Penny flooded the 63rd and Lexington Avenue subway station, jumping onto the train tracks, disrupting service. Multiple officers were injured, 13 people were arrested, and police are still looking for six more people involved. Governor Hochul called Neely's death a wake-up call on mental health, pointing to the billion dollars she put into the New York State budget to combat the issue. It is saying society's frayed right now, our people are hurting, and shame on us if we don't step up and say, no, we're here to help. A grand jury could rule on whether to indict Penny on manslaughter charges this week. Jessica Moore, CBS 2 News. And to read the full statements from Jordan Neely's family and also the attorney for Daniel Penny, head to our website, cbsnewyork.com.